Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Friday Mommy Moment with me. Stop right there if you're new. You do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. Thank you so much for joining us. The first thing that we do on Fridays is get straight to the Friday shout outs. And today I feel like this shout out means a lot because without these people that I'm going to shout out, this channel would not be where it is and not be going where it's going. And I want to give a shout out to all of our new subscribers and all of our old subscribers who have become family. Thank you so much for growing with us, supporting us, being genuine, going to our Instagram and following us on Instagram. All the love and messages that we receive. Thank you so much. Especially thank you so much for encouraging me on this journey. I look forward to doing so many great things with you as we get ready to enter this new year, you guys. I am so, so super duper excited. And if you haven't noticed, we have been going live. Make sure you're checking and tuning in for our lives that take place between 8 and 8.30. And I'll be there. And sometimes my husband will join me. We just come. We chatted up with you. Y'all know I always got my coffee. But it is such a great time. Now let's get into today's topic that I want to share with you. Go grab your coffee. You know I got mine. Your snack, your beverage, whatever it is that you need to come and kick it with me for a moment. Go ahead. What you waiting for? I'll be right here when you get back. Mm -hmm. mm. Coffee is a life, you guys. Grab your stuff. Let's go. All right, you guys. I don't know if some of you follow me on Instagram. I'm hoping that you all would go and follow me over there. But... Recently, it dawned on me that I cannot keep fearing failure. And a lot of times, I am so afraid to fail. I come to realize that failure is a part of life. Without failure, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Because of me failing so horrible in my past, whenever I want to try something new, and I just really really have a hard time thinking about failing and thinking about failure and for so long I have avoided doing certain things because I'm afraid what people would think if I failed I'm afraid if I put myself out there and I'm not received well what would happen does that mean that this is not what I'm supposed to be doing and I decided that I'm not carrying that burden anymore I'm not I'm not I'm not carrying that burden anymore and if you understand what I'm talking about and what I'm trying to say is let's stop carrying the burden of fear of failure and I know that's not easy because who wants to put their self out there and you just fail and then it's like oh my goodness I knew she couldn't do it or I knew he couldn't do it and the naysayers and the people who don't believe in you period but I just feel not only when I say it, I really feel it in my heart that I'm going to try it. Like, I'm going to try it. There's certain things that I want to start doing with my camera that I see other people do. And I YouTube and I research it. And I'm like, man, this just isn't making sense to me. And I want to learn. And my husband's always pushing me to learn new things and to believe in myself. And I said, I'm letting go of fear. If I don't get it right, I'm going to keep trying and trying and trying again until I get it. Because the knowledge is there. I just have to apply it and keep working at it until I get it. If y'all go back and y'all see, I stopped doing makeup. Like I stopped doing creative looks and things that I really felt passionate about. Recently, I started doing makeup again for myself. Like I'm not a makeup artist, but I started dibbling and dabbling and getting back to my creative side. And I've always loved creating new looks and learning about makeup and doing all these great things and trying all these styles and learning how the new brushes work and all these things. I started doing that again. And you know what guys, I feel great. Maybe I don't get all the looks that I attempt to write, but I'm not gonna fall back because I fail at something. And a lot of times I fail at something and I tuck it away and I walk away. For all you guys that don't know, for my birthday, my husband got me a gimbal and it's a really nice gimbal. I think it's the newest gimbal that just came out. I tried to use it while shooting a video and I couldn't, I just couldn't figure it out. I have not picked up that gimbal again and it's been weeks. It's been sitting over there on my desk where I edit and I have not touched it. It's charged and everything. This weekend, I will be testing that gimbal out because you know what? I'm not going to just pick up this new gadget and know how to use it, right? I I'm just not. I'm not going to get everything. Sometimes the directions, they just don't make sense to me. 
I'm gonna keep on trying until I am videoing with that gimbal because I wanted that gimbal and I love that gimbal. I just am, I'm just having a hard time getting it. My husband, he picks it up and he's great with it. And he's like, babe, I can show you how to do it, but I think that you should try and do it on your own. That's what he do. Like if you guys don't know, the reason I know how to edit is because my husband don't help me. He pushes me to knowing how to do it. My husband's an audio video engineer. An audio video engineer. His whole desk is set up with all his stuff. He still edits for a whole other place that he does all these things. He does not touch my computer. He does not edit any of my videos and he will stand by that. Now, if I run into a technical issue, like I can't get the desktop to work because he he's also into IT and all that, that's his career. Now, if I run into one of those technical problems, he'll help me with that. But as far as editing, he's like, babe, I think you can figure that out. YouTube it, research it. So it's like when it came to that gimbal and he's like, I see that gimbal just still sitting over there because he's not gonna teach me how to do it. But I failed and I, it's just sitting there. Like, come on now, I really wanted that. So I decided that if I fail, I'm gonna keep going. And I'm not gonna fear failure. Like I'm going to fail. Every, something that I attempt might fail. My plants, you know, they always don't do well, but I'm going to fail. And failing does not mean that I suck. It means that I just need to try again. Sometimes we're way too hard on ourselves and we fear failure so we don't take that great big leap of faith. And sometimes when we do take that great big leap of faith, we fall right on our face. But that doesn't mean that we are supposed to quit. So I'm not quitting and I wanted to encourage you guys because the new year is coming up, but I don't want you guys to wait till the new year. I want you to start right now. If you are watching this video and fear is holding you back, I want you to put fear to the side and take that leap of faith because God is gonna be there to pick you up every single time that you do fail and that you don't get it right. And we're gonna encourage ourselves and I'll encourage you, you know, get you a support system that's gonna encourage you to get back up and keep trying again. I wanted to come on today and let you guys know what was going on with me just to say, look, this Friday and for the rest of this year and all the new year and the year after that and the year after that, let's not fear failure. Let's not let failure hold us back. We're gonna do this and we can do this together. Thank you guys for coming and hanging with me today. I appreciate you guys so, so very much. Thank you for being so genuine. We appreciate you guys. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like who? Like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seward family, you are always needed. Peace out.